Hey everybody, welcome back to Jeff Also Cooks. I don't know if you saw me in the New Year's video, but I definitely need to lose some weight. That's why I started a keto diet. I'm halfway through week two and I'm already down 13 pounds. Half of that is thanks to this exact recipe. This is a pretty easy recipe to expand on and make it not keto and more delicious, but it's completely serviceable as it is. It's also a one pot meal, so that makes everything easy, especially for cleanup. Be sure to let me know in the comments if you want to see more keto recipes or if you want me to go in the complete opposite direction and just go full blown sugar. Anyway, enough with the preamble, let's get cooking. All right, so to get started here, go ahead and add in some canola oil with some duck fat, but don't turn it on yet because we have some chopping to do. So go ahead and dice up one whole white onion, get that out of your way and start dicing up three stalks of celery, half an orange pepper, half a green pepper, or just one full pepper. Really, it's up to you. Cooking's fun like that. Four or five cloves of garlic, being sure to crush it first so the allicin comes out to play. Shout out to Brad Leone. And then I like to put in a couple jalapeno peppers. Go ahead and scrape out the pith and the seeds if you don't like it too spicy. And then give it a nice chop. Get your oil and duck fat mixture nice and hot and add in all the veggies at the same time. Season generously with kosher salt and freshly ground black pepper and keep mixing until the onions turn translucent. At which point, go ahead and add about two tablespoons of tomato paste. Once you've cooked out your tomato paste and the bottom of your pan is starting to develop a nice fond, set that mixture aside in a heat proof bowl, add in a bit more canola oil, and then get your gloves on because it's time for some serious beef. Add in a kilo of medium ground beef and get it nice and browned. Now go ahead and add in a bit of rosemary and just a whole bunch of cumin, like more cumin than you think is necessary. It's definitely necessary. Just, just don't stop adding cumin. Give it a good mix so all those flavors get to know each other. Now add your vegetables back into the mix along with another couple tablespoons of tomato paste which you're going to cook out and then you're going to add two large cans of diced tomatoes and about two cups of beef stock. Of course you're then going to add in a bit more cumin because there's never enough and a few splashes of Cholula just for taste. Add a lid to partially cover and cook it down for about an hour to an hour and a half. If you're not aiming for a keto meal, then you can go ahead and take out the beef stock and replace it with well, basically anything. Crushed tomatoes, throw in some black beans, red kidney beans, that would always be good. You can do basically anything with this recipe, it's kind of the starting point. But if you follow this recipe to the letter, then you are going to be left with a slightly runny, but absolutely delicious, keto-friendly, one-pot chili. Top it off with a dollop of sour cream and a generous sprinkling of cheddar. And there you have it, an hour and a half, one pot keto chili. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you learned something. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to leave a like down below. It really helps me out. And I'll see you next Thursday.